Yo, 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 we back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna be watching The Office, season four, episode four. It's called Money. In the previous episode, there was a lot of chaotic things that occurred. Michael kidnapping the delivery guy who ended up being a minor, so could end up in jail for that. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Angela and Dwight are officially over now since Andy started making the moves on Angela. What else? Those are the two main major things that happened that I remember clearly. Uh, it's been a while since I filmed the episode three. So yeah, without further ado, if you enjoy the video, like the video, and let's just jump straight to it. Let's go. Michael just rented the Devil Wears Prada. Steak! He's a big Meryl Streep fan. He's on the phone, too slow. You're not going to Paris. <laughs> oh no, please. No, not again. Please be normal, Michael. Anyway, if I was mean, I'm sorry. I just want what's best for you, Manushka. Makushla! He's watching Million Dollar Baby. <laughs> one million dollar. Right? That's the right one? No! No, 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 no. That's the boxing movie. Oops. <laughs> that was Austin Powers. We go with the brown leather on the sofas, and they go with that too. We already have a sofa, so why a do we- futon's not a sofa. It's, you've only seen it flat. I know what a futon is, man. I... What's a futon? I probably know what it looks like, I just don't know what it is. Mm. Okay. Okay, yeah, I get her point. That's not really a sofa. <laughs> At the end of my life, when I'm sitting on my yacht, I'm going to be thinking about how many friends I have. I mean, I have a yacht. Amen. Speak it into existence, Michael. Yes, we have availability on those nights. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No king beds. Call back again. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> you run the bed and breakfast? It is not a B&B. It consists of tourists coming to a farm, giving them a bed, giving them breakfast. So a bed and breakfast. It says here you cater to the elderly. <laughs> Where did you read that? TripAdvisor is the lifeblood of the agritourism industry. He seems to be doing good in uplifting spirits. So um, I forgot to tell you that I need the car tonight. Actually, I need the car. Good practice in case you ever do a scene where you need to pretend you have a car. Why did she, she get a job? All right. What do you got going on tonight? You wouldn't understand. It's a secret. I wouldn't understand or it's a secret? You wouldn't understand, Jim. It's a secret. <laughs> hey, the bus ain't too bad. Well, what if I told you that I have a pill that will make you 50 pounds light? It won't be that fast, but it will. <laughs> it will be that easy. That's gotta be stalking. That's gotta be considered stalking. I mean, at what point is this just illegal, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'd heard about his beet farm for years, but I never thought. The Beats Motel. The Embassy Beats. Radish Inn. How are you doing? I don't know. Uh, who is it? Oh, that's cousin. <laughs> cousin Mars. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that's one of the writers of the show. <laughs> Just want to remind you to stick to the script. Say the lines, make the sale. Got it? Very inspirational. <laughs> $50 bonus tonight to the guy with the most sales, okay? You can make jokes when you made a sale there, rookie, okay? Ooh, exposed. Wow, Michael. I was rooting for you. I thought say you one was one six. of the... What? What? Oh, I thought you asked me what our chances were of being murdered here tonight. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said, I want sex. Well, I'm just calling because you responded positively to... Michael. Stanley? Senor, are you happy <laughs> with your long distance survey? Know that's you. <laughs> the last thing in the whole godforsaken world I want to hear is the voice of Michael Scott. Just dial the number on the sheet and stick to the script. Say those words exactly, got it? It, it kind of makes them a little bit more, um... I guess a little bit more sympathetic having to pull a second job just so he can afford living with his girlfriend and that's that's tough you know and the fact that he got to keep it a secret to her too because he told her that she he goes to improv but he's really got a second job that's i see him muscling you know what here's the thing about die hard 4 die hard 1 a classic 
who mm. gets his feet cut and he gets beat up. In mm. Die Hard 4, he is jumping a motorcycle into a helicopter. You should review movies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you have another nightmare? Just thought I heard crying or moaning or something. <laughs> oh, they're both <laughs> crying while moaning. Ah <laughs> oh, man, poor Dwight. He's really starting to feel the effects of the breakup. Well, I'll look into that in the morning. Thank you for bringing that to the attention of the staff. Good night, Dwight. And trying to keep himself busy with this bed and breakfast thing. <laughs> you okay? I am better than you have ever been or ever will be. <laughs> yes? What's oh happening? Gosh. How's my favorite branch doing? Okay, Michael, why don't you start us off? Um, <laughs> he's become the new Andy. I can't believe it. I'm actually looking forward to Andy nowadays. Why is Daryl here? He works in the warehouse. I invited him. It's not a party. Daryl. You're right, I don't need this. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> um, see you later tonight. Yeah, plans later. Okay, bye honey. <laughs> oh no. Wow, I gotta take a breather of it just for that. <laughs> it's whoever, not whomever. No, it's whomever. No. Whomever is the formal version of the word. Ryan, use it as an object. As an object. Ryan, use me as an object. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> Ryan wanted Michael, the subject, to uh, explain the computer system, the object. No one uh, asked you anything ever, so whomever's name is Toby, why don't you take it? <laughs> What moves? I have moonwalked past accounting like 10 times. Now that I think about it, Angela and Andy might actually make a good couple, but I couldn't do that to Dwight. I mean, check out the spread that he got going on. <laughs> Clearly he's on his. I bet it's Jan spending them straight to the poorhouse. Yeah, women be shopping. <laughs> it's not even good at his first one. Hey guys. Wow, yeah, bad mouthing your boss? That is cold. Michael, are you having money problems? No, I'm not having monkey problems. If I had money problems, would I do this? No, 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 don't. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to throw it away. <laughs> Just put it back in your pocket. Yeah. yeah, but I destroyed it. It's, it's not even usable anymore. It's gotten to the point where I get excited every time I see that little dude walk through the door. <laughs> Listen, I got the answer. You declare bankruptcy, all your problems go away. I declare bankruptcy! <laughs> Pretty sure that's not how you do it, but you got the right idea. Okay, $125, Amazon. You sit on a stabilizer ball, you put your feet into the power stirrups, it strengthens your entire core. The Marine Corps- I can't believe I'm about to say this, but this guy is actually a man child. I'm not sure I've ever said that before. He is has all the attributes of a child. He's very bad with money. He's obsessed with being liked. He he gets taken advantage of. I mean, uh, just to say, just to name a few. I think she's going to like it. And I told her in the note that the cat came to find her, destined to be together. That's Dwight's cat. What the heck? <laughs> Dang, he's taking the break up really hard. You may ask me out to dinner. Nothing fancy or foreign. No bars, no patios, no vegetables. Dwight? I mean, you didn't have to do it right in front of him. You know what I mean? It's like, that's that's evil. I get it, he killed your cat, but still. I never tell you why I left Scranton. I just couldn't take it. So my solution was to move away. And it is something that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. You be all right, Dwight. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I was thinking about dinner. We hey, man. PDA, bro. Y'all? P 
PDA. <laughs> Who the drag queen used to be? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oof. Oh my gosh. Jan, he went running that way. Oh. Right. <laughs> Why did you throw the key at him? <laughs> like he's some sort of valet guy. The train never coming back. Come on, you can deal with this. It's not that bad. Yeah, it is. I really messed up. Life is all about messing up. New York, and I felt like my whole world was collapsing around me. I didn't have anyone. But you had Michael. Michael, no. What I want to say is you were there for me. Hey, I said it in season one. Don't mix up relationships at work or things get awkward, you know? Roll the clip of me back in 2020 or 2021. But personally, romance at work, that, that's just not my thing. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Hello, this is White Steve Cohen from Bender Mifflin. And according to our records, you appear to be low on office supplies. <laughs> Oh man, that's great. This was a very heartwarming episode. Shout out to whoever wrote it. I mean, if it's Cousin Moss or I see uh, BJ Novak in the credits sometimes, so. Episode four, season four of The Office. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed a lot of the heartfelt moments, especially with Dwight and how he dealt with his heartbreak. Jim comforted him when he was crying in his room. Well, not crying in his room, but just to check up on him. He went to check up on him when he was crying in his room. That was very heartwarming. As well as when he sat in the corridor and started telling him how he dealt with his own breakup. So I liked that. That was very touching. Ooh. Yeah, he really took a hit. You know, if that breakup took a hit on him. Thankfully, we saw him bounce back a little bit to his old ways him bickering with Jim so uh that was that was good that was very nice to see um yeah Jen and Michael they definitely belong with each other you know I have a lot of hope in the relationship Ryan I'm sick and I'm getting sick and tired of seeing him it was uh fun seeing him back but now he's starting to get annoying a little bit I know he's just doing his job but still you know I'm just expressing my feelings towards the show and how I feel towards this character but overall I like the episode a lot um I hope y'all enjoyed the video like share subscribe do all that fun stuff and I'll be right back